My beloved brethren and friends, greetings. During the course of the last week, we have seen the gradual reopening of our various countries and the relaxing of curfews and the movement of people. This gives us both a cause to rejoice and also to be cautious. The reopening of our economies will mean increased employment opportunities and will therefore result in corresponding improvement in the livelihood of individuals. That's a good thing. But on the other hand, the reopening of the economy also increases the chances of the spread of infection of this deadly coronavirus. I therefore ask us to be extra vigilant and observe the protocols established by the health authorities. We do believe that God will take care of his people. We also must be mindful of the fact that God's dealings with his people reveal that he himself often provided extensive health guidelines for them to follow. It is only logical that we continue in the same vein. Today, I want to highlight another area of concern. This COVID-19 pandemic has created a lot of interest in biblical prophecy, and particularly as it relates to end time events. I've seen in circulation a number of videos with all sorts of interesting assertions, from COVID-19 being one of the seven last plagues to widespread allegations of state interference in setting the stage for the mark of the beast. I would like to urge us to put our focus on the Bible and resist the temptation to cling to that which is sensational and dramatic. This is a time for us to lift up Jesus as the hope of humanity. Seventh-day Adventists have a prophetic heritage, a heritage that is focused on scripture. Let us focus on building a good relationship with Jesus and increasing our understanding of his word. There is a seeming need for answers as we confront unprecedented developments such as what we have had over the last few months. Do not despair. We are responding to this need. For example, we have a special program on Monday evenings from 6.30 to 7.30 called This We Believe. It discusses what the church believes and provides opportunities for you to ask questions and get real-time answers. This program can now be accessed on all of our platforms, Second Advent Radio, SLC Adventist, that's our YouTube channel, Facebook at South Leeward Conference, and our website at www.slcadventist.org. This is just one way of being made aware of what we believe as a people. Please also remember that you are free to submit questions to me. Any questions you have for clarification and biblical positions and the like, to president at slcadventist.org. I gave a commitment to responding in a timely manner and to maintain your privacy, and I'll stick to that. In the meantime, we continue with our midday Sabbath services at 11 a.m. and our midweek Wednesday evening prayer focus from 7 to 8 p.m., both of which are live on all of our platforms. Additionally, on Sabbath afternoons, we feature Let's Talk. It's a live interactive talk show which discusses current issues and how the church responds. This Sabbath afternoon, you can join me in conversation with Dr. Fazazuddin Hussain, Dean of the School of Theology at the University of the Southern Caribbean, as we discuss COVID-19 and prophetic implications. It is 3 p.m. on SLC Adventist. That's our YouTube channel. Brethren, Friends, one of these days, Jesus will come, and then all of our troubles will end. Until then, God's church will roll on. You heard me right. God's church will triumph. Let us keep faithful. God bless you, and do stay safe in Jesus.